this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. Okay, now we're going to be talking about how to fix blurry photos and uh, how to bring some of the details back so that it appears to be more in focus. Usually there are two reasons for blurry photos. One is that um, either you moved um, your camera a bit too quickly when you're taking a photo or the person moved. Or also what can happen is if the focus is on, on an object that is in front of the person or behind it with the autofocus, sometimes you get that bit of a problem. So we're going to look at how to bring back that detail to make it appear to be a bit more in focus. So we have this picture here. And uh, obviously here this was taken in a low-lit environment and there's, uh, there's movement either from the photographer or from the person himself. And uh, there's a bit of that. Uh, it's not really sharp here on the face and we like to get it a little bit sharper. So what we can do here is I'm just going to expand my, my um, layer palette here and I'm going to duplicate um, the layer, this layer here, the background layer. So I'm just going to click and drag to the new icon here at the bottom. So we have a copy of the background layer. All right. Now we're going to go to Filter other and high pass and um, basically what you're looking for is uh, what the high pass is if you look at it um, if you analyze it this way is that it's sort of like a relief drawing so you start off with just a gray and then you'll see that whatever is going to be on focus starts to appear so these the edges here of of the photo will be made sharper and if you keep on going then more things will start being made sharper. Now, the key point is not actually um, remembering or trying to memorize the amount of pixels because what happens is with a larger photo you're going to need more pixels. With a smaller photo like this one, you're going to need less amount of uh, of pixels in the high pass. So what you're really looking for is just really the look of something that is just like a slight uh, relief drawing, something that, uh, for example, you're trying to bring back the details here of the mouth and the eyes. So you want to get to to somewhere where you're actually seeing those lines there, which is crucial to actually bring that into focus. You don't want to go too overboard because then you're going to start making the the noise information and everything else in the photo sharper as well, and it'll just it won't look good. So you're just looking for uh, an in-between point where you're you're getting the line details of the face, but you're not getting too much of the camera noise um, in information in the photo. So we'll, we'll click OK here, and uh, now we have uh, a few options here. To, to make the, the appearance of it being sharper, we have three blend modes. We have overlay, soft light, and hard light. The way this works is that the soft light, and I'll apply that here, is the, this is the lightest one, so we can see the before and the after. I'm going to zoom in here just to show you a bit more of what it's going on. So we see the before and we see the after, and you can see that there's a bit of the detail that is brought backwards, brought forwards, um, so made it sharper. So we have soft light, now we have overlay, which made it more sharper. All right. And then we have hard light, which you probably won't be using too much because I find that it's a bit of an overkill, but we see before and the after. And what you can see what hard light does is actually it's accentuating here and sharpening everything in the photo, including this noise detail, which is this photo is pretty noisy, so you don't want to go that way. But you probably want to go either with soft light or you want to go with overlay. And now what you can do here is actually you can modify slightly the the amount of that the amount of um, sharpness that this is being brought out by the flexibility of the slider the opacity slider here so you can bring that back a bit so that you are making things sharper but not too much so you have that flexibility you have three layers of uh, of um, intensity soft light hard light you'll find that hard light even on a low opacity it just tends to just bring back too much of the background information so I hardly ever really use hard light but it's there if you want to. Soft light um, will usually you'll usually find that you're in a higher opacity with soft light. It will depend greatly on the photo and then overlay. Usually I find that overlay works pretty well and then you usually find that you're either on a 20% opacity or like in a 40-50% opacity so we'll just leave it here and we can see that we're making the photo slightly. I'm just going to bring that back a little bit more here to the forwards. Okay, so it's made it the photo sharper, and this is this is pretty much the best that you can actually do in bringing back something that wasn't there in the first place, which is you know focus on the main subject that you were looking for. So there you are. This is a good way to bring back focus on photos that are not that well in focus. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.